Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the pituitary gland and its hormones. The pituitary gland is, is also known as hypophysis. It is often called as master gland as it produces nine hormones which affect virtually all tissues of the body including many other endocrine glands. The pituitary gland is a small gland about 1 cm in diameter and 0.5 to 1 gram in weight. It lies below the hypothalamus as a small protrusion. It is connected to the hypothalamus by a pituitary stalk, which is known as infundibulum. Dear students, the pituitary gland has three lobes. The anterior lobe, which is called adenohypophysis. The second lobe is the intermediate lobe or pars intermedia. The third lobe is the posterior lobe also called neurohypophysis. We shall discuss the roles of all the three lobes. The Anterior lobe or adenohypophysis is fleshy, glandular and highly vascularized in all animals. It contains five types of cells which are glandular and synthesize and secrete six hormones. Their secretions are controlled by the hypothalamic hormones. These five types of cells include number one, the somatotropes which produce growth hormone. Number two, corticotropes which produce the adrenocorticotropic hormone ACTH. The third type of cells is the thyrotropes which produce thyroid stimulating hormone TSH. The four type of cells are the gonadotropes, which produce gonadotropic hormones, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone FSH. The fifth type of glandular cells in adenohypophysis are the lactotropes which produce prolactin. Dear students, these adenohypophysial hormones are classified into two groups. One, the tropic hormones, the ACTH, TSH, LH and FSH are primarily tropic in their actions. They act on other endocrine tissues that is thyroid, gonads, adenal cortex and regulate the activity of these target glands. The luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormones are called gonadotropin hormones. They act on gonads and stimulate the secretion of gonadal hormones. The other three hormones of adenohypophysis that is growth hormone, prolactin and, uh, and pro prolactin are non-tropic hormones. Such hormones act directly on their target tissues and produce effect. They do not act on other endocrine glands, ye dusre endocrine glands par act nahi karte aur mazid further kisi aur hormone ki release ka bias nahi bante, inhe non-tropic hormones kehte. Dear students, the intermediate lobe of pituitary is avascular 
that is without high blood supply and is almost absent in humans however in rodents and many lower vertebrates this lobe of pituitary is highly developed and produces the hormone msh in humans msh is secreted by the pars intermedia which is considered as the as a part of anterior pituitary the secretion of msh is under the regulation of hypothalamic mih that is inhibiting hormone for melanocyte the posterior lobe or neurohypophysis of pituitary is non fleshy and non glandular it has neural composition and is considered as an extension of the hypothalamus it does not synthesize any hormone but it releases two hormones which are synthesized by the hypothalamus and released in this part of the pituitary these two hormones are the peptide hormones antidiuretic hormone adh which is also known as vasopressin and oxytocin the adh and oxytocin are released by the axon terminals in the posterior pituitary posterior pituitary lobe stores these hormones and secretes them as per requirement